wanted to show um, how I installed A6 rings into my A6 Foxy Fix Wide. Um, this is in their Lush Ballerina color. Uh, I chose the Lush just because it has, well, I'm doing a whole Kingdom Hearts theme, um, but I like the fact that the Lush, and I think it's the Spice Leathers, have this back pocket, which when you add your rings into it, it hides the mechanism so you don't see it on the outside of your planner here. All right, so a um, couple things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some A6 rings with the actual, um, with the actual, uh, uh, I wanna say nuts and bolts, um, with the screws, because you want it to actually sit in. This is making A6 rings without it being a hybrid, so, um, another thing is you want to remove the elastics that go in the center, which I've already done already. So you're gonna do that. Um, and to get your holes that you can see here, um, I've already kind of put them in already um, for your rings here, is that you're gonna want some sort of a hole punch. You can buy a leather um, hole punch. I'm not entirely sure how they run how much they run at Michael's, but when you do put them in, you wanna make sure that you line this up center, mark some holes with a pen. Um, you notice a small point pen um, with it obviously open. I already got holes, so I don't really have to do that. But make yourself a hole so that way you have a punch guide as far as where you wanna punch into your spine. Now you can use, um, actually you can use the, what is it, We Are Memory Keepers. They're the bite, the big bites. The mini bites. Um, I have both. Um, I have this one here, and then I also have the big bite. Um, this one actually I was using when I had TN so that I could hit this center um, hole from, you know, this doesn't always get straight to the center because of how bulky it is. Um, so I use this crabadile um, to get it because it also, it, it creates uh, eyelet holes, but it also punches holes too. So this one, I actually had to use both because of how it fits. Um, so the top one here, which has the biggest opening, was easy enough to use the, which one did I use? I used the biggest hole, which is I think the 3 16th of an inch hole. And so I pretty much found where my hole was, or my dot that I that I'd marked. And so you slide in the top and you create a hole. The one on the bottom, I use the big crocodile, the 3 16th inch, because this is a lot thinner to slide into the hole, as you can see here, the hole here, um, to get that punch. This is a little bit, I don't know, I might be able to do it. It's a little bit trickier to kind of get this in here um, to get your punch here because you know you kind of have to like finagle it to look to see if everything's lined up instead of looking at it from the top um so i did that and you know changed my settings here to the actual punches instead of the rivets um so those help you can get the leather hole punch that'll work just as well um but i had these on hand and they punch cleanly through the lush leather um i'd like to get a spice leather to see how that works with my other set of a6 rings so you've put your holes in and you're ready to put in, let me get my dividers out of the way. Um, you're ready to put in your rings. So what you're gonna do is take the, where's the other one at? Um, you're gonna take the two bottom pieces and stick them into the holes here. This last one in. And you're gonna drop them right there. Um, then you're gonna take your ring mechanism and line that up into the holes here. Make sure that everything is lined up center here. Make sure we don't have any crooked lines um, so that you know if you put it in, you're gonna have everything be a little bit wonky. From there, you're gonna make sure you grab your screws. And you can use a flathead screwdriver, but because of how shallow um, these screws tend to be, um, let's see if we can get it to focus, um, how shallow these screws tend to be. I have to use other things. Like I seen, um, I think the first time I installed the rings in here, I used a butter knife. 
so I pretty much set it in. And right now, I don't have a butter knife up with me, but my <laughs> sewing marker um, works really well to kind of twist it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up. I just like to double check, you know, where my rings line up as far as that goes. Um, you can actually get it in um, by, you know, twisting if you have nails turning you know ahead of time and then you know to get it really nice and secure um, push down because um, you don't want both pieces the uh, screw cap and the screw um, to keep spinning so that's so you don't get it like nice and tight in there so that one's in I'm gonna go ahead and screw in this bottom one and kind of get it started just a little bit you can get it fairly in rather quick and then just getting that flat piece to tighten it up a little bit more. Oops. All right, so I think that we've got it in as tight as we can. So we've got the rings in, they're in, they're sturdy. Um, close it up, they're in here. So you can see, you don't see anything in the back. Now you may ask about this hole. Um, I add charm, spine charms to the back of my uh, planners. This is one that I have that's Kingdom Hearts themed. And so instead of having to worry about like trying to go over both sides, I have this hole here that I loop in, adds it a little bit more security um, into the charm so it can hang off the side here. Um, I've already switched out my elastics. These um, striped elastics are from Illustring. I wanted something a little bit different because this is my Kingdom Hearts Kyrie themed uh, A6 rings. And then we'll just, you know, I'll stick in my dividers, my top tabs, because um, when you do any sort of hybrid, you know, most TNs aren't made to accommodate rings. So I may have, this may, I think with the rings, it sits right, right at the edge. So if you had side tabs, it would, you know, cause a little bit of some more overhang normal so I mean I know when you do any sort of hybrid you're gonna get some sort of slight overhang so it's for the most part pretty flush I may it's pretty pretty flush there's a little bit of some overhang so I may trim these just a little bit more um, just because of it being hybrid um, I slightly wish Foxy made a little bit longer um, wide uh, TNs, but hey, it'll do um, because, you know, it's a nice pink color, but that is how you add A6 rings, if you don't want to make it a hybrid, into um, a TN like Foxy Fix. Hope you enjoyed.